What's up guys, XRWE Kiwis here and welcome back to another video. As always, appreciate you being here and choosing to click on the video. Uh, as you can tell by the title today, we are completing the third and final uh, League of Nation SBC for the advanced SBCs. I've already done the other two on my channel, if you haven't watched them, be, then uh, be sure to go and check them out. Um, I don't really have any updates, team is, is exactly the same as the last video was. Um, marquee matchups I will do eventually, but I've not got round to doing it yet. Um, squad battles, I'm still on the same points. I still haven't played the featured squad or the uh, Team of the Week squad. But um, yeah, I'll play them eventually, but you don't have to play them until Sunday. So let's get straight into the SBC. Um, as I said, I completed the other two and I've not ma uh, really made many coins on either yet. Which is very unlucky because these are non impossible not to make coins on usually. So I'll work this way to the other way. Um, I've had a few comments that have said I don't play show the players' names. So I will click through them quickly for you like this. But if I sit there and I look through every single player, then the video is going to be way too long and nobody wants that. So I'll click through the players like that. Be sure to just pause it and then, um, and then just go on to the next one. But yeah, apologies for not showing players, but it makes the video last so much longer. Um, again, this one's really easy though. You don't need loyalty for this one. Um, a lot of them on Footbin will say you do. There is some that you don't. So yeah, that's the team I use for that. Just Spanish and uh, Mexicans. So we get a rare mixed players pack for that, which I actually don't think is that bad. Um, it was a good pack last FIFA. The silvers and that tend to go for a decent amount sometimes. Um, again, this one is very cheap as well. Again, you don't need loyalty on it. Um, however, you do need to switch these to a centre mid, I think. I'm lucky because I already had mo uh, a few of them that uh, have loyalty. So I got the two extra Ken needed. But I'll let you know now, I'm pretty sure you do need to change both of these two to a centre mid. But CDM to centre mid cards go for, for hardly anything anyway. And it's better than having to piss about with loyalty. But again, I'll go through the players. I've only gone through them quickly, but as I say, you can easily sit there and pause the video. If not, you can search for the nation position and the team, and it will give you them straight away anyway. Uh, which, you get a 25k pack for that, which isn't bad, considering it's only the second SBC. Um, this third one, this third one's probably more expensive than it should be, the way that I've done it. Because this is the very few ways that i found that you don't need loyalty. If you go on Footbin, they'll definitely be teams cheaper, but you will need loyalty for them. Whereas, as you can see here, um, some of them do because they were just sat in my club, but you actually don't. You'll see that these three have loyalty. Without the three loyalty, you'll have 91 chem still, so you can do it without loyalty. Again, it might be a little bit more expensive. Nope, they're still not expensive. The most expensive of is Oscar at like 1.2 maybe. Yeah, like they're very cheap. Even the 83s. 1.4, 1.2. It's very cheap. But as I said, it might be a few ways cheaper, but with loyalty. Um, I'll click through the names again. You'll see I bought most of them. They're going for literally no coins. 1.5 is the most expensive, I think, with Oscar. But yeah, still very cheap. And you get a mega pack back. So very cheap for that. Um, and the last one. This one, however, you definitely do need loyalty, um, unfortunately. Uh, you'll see there, every player's got loyalty for me. I did have to go and play the 10 games on them. You'll see here, they've all got the uh, 10 games in that because I had to go and get them. I didn't have them in the club. But um, this one's a little bit more expensive, but genuinely, it's still not that bad. Um, considering you get a 55k pack for it, it's really not bad. Um, you don't need a lot of strong links, but because, you need, because you're guaranteed to have red links somewhere, that's where you need the chemistry. So, again, I will click through the players quickly. You'll see how much I bought some of them for. Even the 83s and that, I'm only going for like 2k, which is decent. Um, there is cheaper 83s again, but this is the easiest way that i found of doing it. And again, we get a 55k pack for that. There, you'll see the loyalty on them. So, again, I hope that people found that easier that way with me showing the players. Again, can't show them for long because of the length of the video, but hopefully you're able to pause the video and find them that way. Um, so yeah, again, as always on these videos, take a couple of screenshots on that just in case one of them doesn't work. And we get a kit, which is the most pointless thing ever, because who the fuck cares about a kit? But we get 13k coins, which is obviously nice to get back straight away. Now, this costs around 40k. You can probably do it a little bit cheaper, like 35k, if you're willing to sit there and do loyalty on teams, which I wasn't. 
The last one you've got to do loyalty no matter what. But um, yeah, the other ones you can do loyalty to make it a slightly bit cheaper. But I'd rather just pay the extra like 5k and not have to mess about doing loyalty on them. So as I say, the other ones that I've done, I have made literally no coins on. The League Nations I made a few coins on because I packed a couple of okay players. Even though um, I still didn't pack a walkout. The Hybrid Leagues, however, I got shafted. Literally, I got absolutely no I can't even remember who I got. It was that bad. I really don't know how to tell if it's a board or not. Any, um, still, I know how to tell if it's a walkout, but I've still not learned if it's a board. Again, I know you learn if it's a board after um, you know if it's a walkout. And by the time I know it's not a walkout, I don't care about who it is. Uh, I can't be bothered to check any, any of those. Um, I am actually going to open all of these packs, by the way. Once to watch is a now in packs. I'm recording this late at night. This is half twelve late at night or early morning, depending on, way, on what way you look at it, on Friday. So once to watch is arm in packs now. It would be nice to get one, but the chances of that are probably extremely slim because this first uh, once to watch team has a lot of decent players. So I'm not realistically going to pack any. Ah, uh, William goes for a few K there. So yeah, I can't remember if I did actually say how much it goes for. I think I did. It goes for about 40k as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I definitely did say that because I said you could do it cheaper. I forgot it already. Six minutes into the video, already forgot loads of things that I've said. Um, and now, with six minutes left, don't really have much else that I want to talk about. Uh, so, we'll just sit and watch the packs. I mean, I'm just tempted to skip it if it's not a walkout. As I said, I don't really care if it's a board or not. Obviously, there is a lot of players right now that are boards that still go for stuff, but no one really cares about sitting there watching a non-walkout, do they? I've, um, I think this is the last untradeable pack that I had. I don't know what... Um, I think they were from Objectives, these 25 untradeable uh, K-packs. Rare Electrum Players Packs were from Foot Champs. Uh, I'll open the last Premium Gold Players Pack. I find these packs really bad. I don't know about anyone else, but I know you get a lot of players in them, but I never seem to pack anything good. It's not a walkout, so I'm going to skip it. But yeah, the 25 premium gold players packs are just dreadful for me. Always have been, probably always will be. At least I'm untradeable, so I haven't got a mess about putting the untradeables into the club. And we'll move to the rare election players pack. I've got a lot on my transfer list because I haven't sold anything yet. So I'm kind of interested to see in how much the prices have changed on players. On um, ones that I've bought and sold over the last like week or so, which is why I've kept them on, but I'm gonna have to clear them soon. We yeah, had an 84 Grimaldo. People are saying that this is a good guy to invest in. Obviously, Spanish gets good links, 84 rated, fullback is always good. You can probably pick him up for about 4k, so definitely probably is one to invest in. Again, Godin, 85, going for about 6k. The players did go up this morning. Once, um, Dominic Calvert Lewin did get released. Uh, fodder, like 84s and 85s, they did go up for about an hour. That's a walkout, I'm pretty sure. Well, watching properly, but I think it's a walkout. I'd love a ones to watch. I mean, I don't want, I don't want you. Out of all the walkouts it could have been, you are not the one that I wanted. I mean, it's better than nothing, and it's a guaranteed, what, like 10, 15k, I reckon. I can't imagine he's going for much more than that, because his base is a uh, card is shocking. Oh, I got so excited for a walkout. I hate the team. I hate the 84. I mean, 20k, I'll take that. I hate the fact that 84 team of the week's a walkout, so I'd rather it just be 86 team of the week. Whoa! Alright, we take you. I know he's informed about 120k, but I did not know his base card was that much. So, we take those. I like German and uh, a little bit, but not worth selling. Uh, you can get chucked up there as well. So, we got a walkout, which I'll happily take. Into the mega pack though, but yeah, Fodder did go up a little bit. However, it's crashed again. So if you are looking at investing in players, I'm pretty sure you got the La Liga player of the month coming out soon as well, which a lot of people think will be Ansu Fati, which probably his inform looks very OP. So a lot of people might want to look at completing him. You might need high rated Fodder. Maybe it's worth uh, buying him. To be fair, I'm recording this late at night. By the time I do this video, the player of the month might already be out. So what I've just told you about investing in players might be absolutely pointless because they'll probably be out and you'll already know. You won't need the fodder. Me telling you this is just pointless. And we don't get a walkout on the last pack either. Can I at least get a board? I can. I mean, it's not good. Is that Carlos Vela? How is he still a board? He's been a board for about 17 years. 
I mean, he's lost all his pace, though, bless him. I mean, it does tear the MLS to shreds, to be fair, but it's not exactly the highest standard of football, is it? Can't imagine he's going for a lot. It's not 2k for an 83, is shocking. Trippier again, so there's just no point in selling them for that price. So, I made coins on this for getting Upamecano and Inform Chilwell, but again, packs weren't that great, considering I had other pack save there as well. Actually, I got Upamecano and Chilwell from the Rare Election Players pack, which wasn't actually League of Nation hybrid. Uh, so, again, if we're just going by those packs, I got absolutely shafted again. The advanced SBCs are usually sick, but haven't been for me. That being said, really appreciate you guys being here and watching the video again. Hopefully, if you do complete this, you can get somebody good. And hopefully, this video was helpful for you to complete it. If you could, of course, leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. That would be really appreciated. But that's going to be the end of the video for me, guys. Thank you for watching.